everybody, this is M, and we are playing Mass Effect. Last time we were on Vermeer and things didn't go exactly to plan. We ended up losing Ashley and uh, yeah, that, that's where we are at the moment. And I believe we have to head back to the council to get permission to head to the Terminus system. But right now we're going to talk to our companions about what just happened. Anything you need, Commander? Yeah, let's talk about her. I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, ma'am. Hmm. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. I don't understand. I understand. I don't like losing people either. I've served for years, but never lost a soldier under my command. Not to hostile action, anyway. If you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? Hmm. It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember her, and I'll do better for her. Yeah. Yeah. That's I guess that's all do. we can do. Oh, thanks for the advice, ma'am. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? Oh. Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be afraid of them? Or in awe of them? Anything so old, so intelligent. Mm. Yeah, they've been around a while. So were the Turians. We gave them a boot in the ass. Yeah. I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. <laughs> we'll talk another time, Lieutenant. <laughs> Instead of a bigger ship, we need a bigger boot. <laughs> Uh. Hello. Are you alright? How's your head? Commander, are you coming to check up on me? Yeah. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. She's the best. You're in good hands. We've heard this before. Dr. Chakwas. I've been thinking about Saren. Oh, okay. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. Hmm. In a way, yeah. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign. Yeah. But he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Yeah. We'll Whatever know. Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. Yeah, true I enough. should go. Goodbye, Commander. Thank you. Oh, goodness me. I do feel bad for him in a way, because, like, whatever his intentions were during the um, first part, like, they were either good or bad, basically. He probably hated humans and probably wasn't the nicest of people, but I don't know. Renegades, am I right? Commander, I wanted to thank you. I don't have time for this. Oh. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> Commander, I wanted uh, to... We'll just go through it really quick. Forever. And I re you escaped under my watch. And I'm I glad you see it that way. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Uh, yeah, let's just get that. Hey! Hey! But he survived. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. Oh, yeah. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. Thank you. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Hell yeah. Saren has to pay for what he's done. Agreed. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So Indeed. long, Rex. Oh. Shepard. Hey, you survived. 
You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Hmm. Let me see what you have. Oh, he's got more unique... Wow, he's got a ton of unique items now. Oh, more grenades. More metagels. What's this? Okay. I think that's pretty much it. Hello. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Same. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Mm. My superiors will duly honor Chief Williams for her actions. Yeah. Her sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Ash was a hell of a soldier. She knew what the risks were, but she did what she had to. Mm. Of course. The grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. That was amazing there. Uh... Looking for supplies? Let's see what you got. You bet, Commander. Let's see what he's got. Right, okay, so we're gonna look at... Oh, rank 10s. Um, the pistol? Any good? Weaker. Weaker. Good weapons. Right, let's talk to Tally. Hey, Shepard. You need something? I should go. See you later. Hmm, nothing about Williams. Odd. Oh, now we head to oh first Joker. Let's talk to him. See what is his input. Maybe somebody else has input. I didn't go to Dr. Tranquez because if I go to him and he's yes, Commander. Him. Nope. Carry on. Presley. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, pretty much their dialogue is uh, absorbed, which is a bit disappointing because Dr. Tranquez is quite interesting of a character. Wish he had more. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Alenko and Williams must have been I'm, I'm sorry ma'am I just don't know if I could have done it I pray you never have to indeed yeah, there is no right choice for something like that I just hope I never have to go through it again no I'm not blaming you commander I'm just I mean it's hard you know Are you alright Saren's still out there Joker hold it together we need you don't worry I won't let you down I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay nice so I want to hear Joker. Right. Let's get permission for the Terminus system. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. Okay. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Nice. I knew they'd come around. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, ma'am. Let's do this. Hello. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. Okay. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. What? Uh, what? Um, weren't we going after him? You think a blockade's gonna stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Yeah. Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. 
If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale Well, then war. don't send that. Now send me. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. What? Yeah, send me after him! One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Wait. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. What the f <sighs> Yeah, but what about the secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Are you joking me? Come on, you cannot be this blind. How can... How can people be this blind? Are there no record... We need a recorder. Ne next thing. Put a camcord. Put video footage on our shoulder. Come on. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers, and then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. <sighs> yeah, then you're all fools! If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains oh, thanks God's to you, sake. but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. Oh, shut you up, You bastard! Yeah. You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. What the f- Flop! I'm supposed to be a specter! I meant to go into this shit! What the f- Flop! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, I forgot about all this, but oh, it's good that I did because now you get an actual reaction. Are you insane? After everything I have done, you still don't believe me. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this with my help, of course. Oh, God, Udina. Oh, you are such a brown noser. Oh, that's so frustrating. You lose one if you can Commander, companions. I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Yeah. Uh, how do you know I'm here? Are you spying on me, Joker? No, ma'am. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. Yeah. All right. Um. Rex Tally. Let's do this. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has yes. the deck. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. Yeah, can you um buzz off a little bit? After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Good. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Alright. Okay. Well, that's a bit irritating, but hopefully um, we can get some help. We should go to the market first, see if we can buy some stuff. Right, sorry about that. I went around to the shops and I basically did a bunch of um, did a bunch of trading. But now we're heading to Flux because uh, our previous <coughs> Commander Anderson is um, still willing to help us, hopefully. Anderson? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm glad you came, sir. Oh. No, no, I, yeah, exactly. They pulled me off the mission, just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. 
I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. Okay. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. Yeah. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's... Indeed, it's not that simple. How There's we only do one that? ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. Yeah, but what about you? If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. We have all the right crew that I'm worried about. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. That's true. I won't forget this, Captain. I promise. I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you gonna get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. You're gonna get yourself killed. There has to be another way. Yeah, Ambassador on. Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Punch him. The ambassador won't forget this. You'll be charged with treason, capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Udine is a prick, so yeah, let's break into his office. You break into his office. You'll have a better chance if you go after the ambassador's computer. I was hoping you'd say that. The ambassador has made this personal. Indeed. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Hell yeah! Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Soldier, I've got oh, a hello. major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. Okay, I'm listening. What kind of situation are we talking about? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is Elias Keeler. I'm an Alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Solarians. You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. I get I understand, it. it's important. So what do you need? Well, in order to do my best for humanity, I need the best resources on the market. There's a mental stimulant that increases alertness and cognitive function. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I need more from the medbay. What exactly is this stimulant? Oh, I don't know the medical terms, but it increases mental capacity, short-term recall, that sort of thing. It helps me stay focused, and it keeps me sharp. Nothing gets by me when I'm on it. Oh, dear. He's a drug addict. If you know the monthly limits, why'd you go over them? The negotiations were supposed to be last week, but the Salarians stalled it, probably deliberately. If I don't get the stimulant, I'll be a wreck. My assistant will take over, and that would be a disaster. Right. That doesn't convince. That doesn't convince me. You should put some trust in your assistant. Didn't you train him? My assistant wants to bend over backwards for the Citadel races. He wants to show them we're reasonable. Yeah. No race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, forget my assistant. Why is this deal so important? The Solarians want to set up long-term trade agreements. There are billions of credits at stake. If I don't get the drug, my assistant will take over and mess up the whole deal. It would be a disaster. Have a you little should bit. put some trust in your assistant. My, no race will respect us until we show them who's in charge. That's what it took with the Turians. Yeah, so you forget my assistant. You're an addict. Keeler, you've got a problem. You need to get treatment. It might look that way from the outside, but this is just a one-time slip-up. No, it is All isn't. the top negotiators are on stimulants close to the legal limit. It's the way the game is played. Then, yeah, and then the game is wrong. I don't see all the top negotiators soliciting help to go over the legal limit, Keeler. 
Maybe you're right. I've been trying to keep humanity strong, and maybe I've pushed myself too hard. I'll tell you what. This will be the last time I use the stimulant. After the steel is finished, I'll get treatment. We need help. No trade negotiation is worth ruining your life for. Let it go and get help. You don't understand. Humanity needs me, and I need that stimulant. Without it, I'll... I... Listen to yourself. I don't know anymore. I get so tired when I run out of the stimulant. I, I just need one more boost. There's right. no shame in having a problem, but you have to get treatment. You're, you're right. Uh, I'll go tell my assistant. I shouldn't be working like this. I, I'll, I'll get help. I'm just sorry it came to this. That's all right. All right. One extra objective done. Helping everybody a little bit on the way. Let's quickly go to CSEC. Yeah, the thing is, if Captain Anderson went the other way, like, at least if he punches Udina, he's just punching somebody. It's fine. And, Rex, you know. forgive the impertinence, but you are not like the Krogan described in the stories on the flotilla. Oh. When you're young, you go looking for every fight you can. You get older. You realize the best fights will find you. That's so lovely if it wasn't disturbing at the same time, Rex. <laughs> Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Yeah! Anderson? What are you doing here? I didn't send. <clears throat> yes! <laughs> yes! Easy. Let's go. Get us out of here, Joker. Now. They didn't like try and stop us or anything. Maybe they couldn't. Maybe we turned on the stealth systems immediately as we left. Uh, let's talk to everybody that we just mutinied. Can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. Yeah, that's what I like to hear, Presley. Can't believe we stole the Normandy. I know we'll all be court-martialed if this doesn't work out, but part of me loves this. Yeah, it's the adrenaline, isn't it? Doing something bad that you shouldn't be. Oh, damn it! No sign of pursuit? I was hoping the Council would send some ships after us. I was looking forward to putting the Normandy through her paces. Figured I'd get to see what this ship can really do. Saren's still out there. Maybe we'll get a chance to play hide-and-seek with Sovereign. You know, it doesn't seem like much fun when you say it, Commander. So you need something? I have to go. All right, see you. Ah, oh, he's cool. It's uh. I wonder if I could call Citadel like, "Hey, I'm going over." <laughs> I wonder how Caden thinks, because he's all about the book and all that kind of stuff. I wonder how he thinks about this. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? Input? Hell, I don't know. We're fighting giant machines from outside the galaxy. Should I be? Yeah, they've been around a while. So... I think we're gonna need a bigger boot, Commander. We'll talk another time. Commander? We're gonna need a bigger boot. If nobody else has got anything else to say, then probably. This will all be over soon, ah, Shepard. Okay. One way or another. That's it? This will all be over soon, Shepard. Okay. It's strange. 
being a fugitive from the Alliance. Uh, this crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us down. Of course not. Like, how could I? Like, the Citadel did it to you. I didn't do anything. They didn't want to deal with the actual problem. They were like, hey, let, let's just uh, make a really different... Let's be stupid and not send the Spectre over. Like, come on. The Spectre can easily get in there, and the Normandy could easily get through there through the systems, but Udina was just being a little... I can't believe you stole the Normandy. Yeah. After everything you told me, it seems a bit extreme, don't you think? So long. Uh. Stealing the Normandy is a trivial risk compared to the threat of Saren. Yeah, I suppose you're right. If you're wrong, we'll pay for it. Yeah. But if you're right and we did nothing, I think we'd regret it a whole lot more. Indeed. I just hope we can catch Saren before they realize we're missing. Don't worry. We'll catch him. Just be ready when we do. Yes, Commander. Oh, I was about to go to Ashley's computer. Ah! Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. Yeah. But I'm right behind you, Shepard. It's the least I can do. Thanks, Rex. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. Sometimes crazy is the best way to go. Yeah. I just hope they don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. No kidding. You and me both. He'll get us through, Shepard. So long, Rex. Shepard. We're fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. I wonder what the Council would do to us if we got caught. The Normandy's the best ship in the fleet. They'll never catch us. I hope you're right. See you later. Heard we're headed into the Terminus systems, Commander. Don't yep. worry, ma'am. The Normandy's a hell of a ship. She'll get us through this. Whew. Stress full. Right, we need to make sure that we we're now going to head off into the terminus system. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some windows? strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Yeah. Find another landing zone. 
There is no other landing zone. <laughs> the descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. Yeah. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Yeah. Joker. I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. I believe in Joker. He never sent me wrong before. I think I'm going to go with Garrus because we're facing a lot of Geth. And I think that's going to be like the prime issue. So I think like um, these guys are good. So they're going to get us through. Come on! 